Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use Canva prototyping tool. When it comes to prototypes, the only ones available or that Canva has are um, desktop prototypes, mobile prototypes, and tablet prototypes. In case you're wondering how I got to this page, just type in canva.com slash prototypes slash and then select a certain prototype that you'd like to create as for me i'm going to use the desktop prototype so we're going to click on it and we'll be redirected to the templates page so look for a template you'd like to use and modify and i'm gonna let's see perhaps i'm gonna use this one we're going to click on it and we're going to click on customize this template. So we're going to wait for our editing page to load up. Okay, so this is the editing page. In case you'd like to change your template, you can go to the side panel over here, which automatically displays templates. You'll find the templates under the design category or design button on the sidebar in case you um, find yourself unable to find it when you close this one. So yeah, you can also do a quick search using the search bar right here so that you can get to the things you're looking for in a much faster way. And all right, we're going to start designing, but if you want to skip this part, feel free to do so and go to the end part to know how you can preview your prototype. So let's start designing. You can actually just edit your template however you want to. You can start with whatever element you want to modify or change or remove. But as for me, I'm going to start um, with, I think the background color is nice, but we're going to have to edit it out to make it, yeah, different from the template. <laughs> So I'm going to choose something else, perhaps something purpley, or yeah, perhaps white would be okay. And I really like this design over here, but maybe we could adjust them and reposition them. Perhaps we could also change the colors of these elements. So why don't we have kind of like a lavender color as our theme for this website prototype. And I'm going to um, click on this element and then on this button, copy style, paste it here. We're going to do the same thing to the others. Copy style, paste it there. And copy style paste it onto this one. Okay, and I am going to change the color of this. Perhaps you can make the button a bit darker. So we're going to do that here, here, and adjust. And then we're going to, let's try to change the color of our text to make it more visible. Yeah, I think that's much better. All right, so actually you can edit this however you want to. Let's try to see if I have some sample. Sample. Some example. Okay, maybe we should use this one. I'm going to delete this. This one right over here. Oh, no, not there. Maybe I should just delete this one over here and... I'm going to resize it, put this logo over here, just like that. And I guess it doesn't really match our theme now, so perhaps we're going to change the color of this element. Okay, we're going to edit this out, so we're going to try to say here best ice cream you'll ever have in 
your life. We're going to say order now. And we're going to change this to order now. Okay. Um, home. And maybe we change it to branches. About us. And maybe we should remove this one. And highlight these and move this over here. Resize this. And like that. And we can also change the layout of this grid. This grid looks really nice. But maybe we can change it. So I'm going to delete that. By the way, I deleted that by clicking on it and by pressing the delete key on my keyboard. I don't have any photos of ice creams here, unfortunately. So we're going to try to look for um, some. So we're going to go to elements just to show you an example. But of course, you're going to have to use your own photos because this is going to be your own website and then your own products. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the element section because I don't have my own photos and I need to show you something to work with. So I'm going to type in here ice cream and then photos. And perhaps we could look for some cutouts. So this one, for example, I think this looks really nice. So we're going to use this one. And then perhaps we can add some elements to decorate it even more. So elements. And I really like to decorate it with splash. Something like this. And perhaps we're going to change it to the same color as the ice cream itself. So we're going to click on this button, this plus button, color picker tool, and choose a color here. So yeah, I think it's nice, but maybe we should do the lighter side. Mm, it can't be seen. Let's try again. Too dark. I think that should be okay. All right, and I guess that should do it. And yeah, I think I'm quite happy with how it turned out. But this is just an example. So of course, you're going to have to make your um, design look unique and different from the template itself so that you'd be able to add your personality to it, your branding to it, and uh, things like that. Okay, I think it's time for us to preview this. So, yeah, we can finally see how it would look like once it's published. So to do that, we're going to go to the share button above, and then over here, we're going to um, you'll see a button with the name prototype on it. So this one, we're going to click on it and then click on open prototype and then a new tab will appear. So yeah, this is how our prototype looks like. If you have multiple pages, you'll be able to see navigators or arrows here. Like he, you can use to navigate through your prototype. And if you like to know how you can actually input a link here that's clickable, let me show you how to do that. I forgot to tell you how to do that while designing. But good thing if you skipped to this part because, yeah, you didn't miss anything. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. You can click on your text over here. Click on this and then link, and then input the link you'd like your customers or anyone to be taken to. I don't have an example, so I'm just gonna put Instagram.com here, and we're gonna see if it worked. So we're gonna go back to share again, prototype, open prototype, and then we're gonna try to click on this one. There you go. I think the button worked. It redirected us to the page we want them to be taken to. But in case you'd like to know how to 
remove the underline here i'm going to show you how to do that as well <laughs> so i'm going to duplicate this text and i am going to remove the link for this one I'm going to place that on top and I'm going to zoom in because I need to make sure that they overlap perfectly so that it it's not too obvious that yeah there are two of them. So now I'm going to I'm going to go to this transparency tool and set it to 1. And there you go. It's successfully removed. Just make sure that the one with the link is on top of the one without the link. And we're going to preview it again. Open prototype. And there. And it still worked. So, yeah. I think that's all for today. And we really hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.